Welcome to our tutorial on managing mixtability classes. In this video, we'll explore the various challenges teachers face and discover effective strategies to address them. Managing mixed level classes can be challenging due to the significant range of abilities. Let's dive into some enhanced ideas and strategies to tackle this common concern. So, the first strategy involves providing differentiated tasks that cater to various levels of complexity. This way, students can interact with the content at their appropriate level while still being part of the same class context. Moving on to the second strategy, we're talking about preparing separate tasks for different levels. You might consider creating unified worksheets with a mix of question types, some easier and some harder, perhaps divided by a horizontal line. Another option is to provide different versions of the same task with varying levels of support. Now, let's discuss the concept of multi-level tasks. This involves offering tasks with different outcomes based on students' abilities. Think of activities like making sentences, creating stories, or engaging in poster-based tasks. It's about accommodating diverse skill sets within the same activity. Okay, here's an interesting one, setting up learning stations in your classroom. This means creating centers where students can work on activities aligned with their abilities. It allows for individualized instruction and independent work, adding a dynamic element to the learning environment. Now, let's explore the world of personalized learning. This strategy involves leveraging adaptive learning platforms that adjust difficulty based on individual student performance. This ensures that each student gets the right level of support and challenge, making learning more tailored to their needs. Moving on to strategy number six, peer tutoring. This is where you pair up stronger students with their weaker counterparts for specific tasks. It's a fantastic way to promote personalized support and reinforce key concepts through collaborative learning. Let's talk about giving students a bit of autonomy. Strategy number seven involves offering a variety of tasks for students to choose from based on their interests and abilities. Think of it as a menu of options that allows students to showcase their individual strengths. And finally, the eighth strategy revolves around cooperative learning. This means incorporating strategies that encourage students with different abilities to work together. It's all about fostering collaboration and shared responsibility for the learning process. Now, let's delve into a variety of class division strategies designed to effectively manage mixed ability classes. 1. Randomized short-term pairs or threes. Creating partnerships or groups for specific tasks is a great way to encourage peer support and collaboration. For instance, picture a science class where students are randomly paired for a short-term experiment. This dynamic pairing includes a student well-versed in the scientific method and another who may need extra support. This not only fosters collaboration but also allows for the exchange of ideas during the experiment. The second strategy involves pairing students for an extended period, fostering mentorship and cooperation. In a language arts class, for instance, Pairs collaborate on a creative writing project. Each pair includes a more experienced writer mentoring their partner over several weeks to develop writing skills. Now, let's talk about dividing the class for specific parts of each lesson, providing tasks at different levels of difficulty. In a math class, for instance, one subgroup tackles advanced problems while another focuses on mastering basics. The teacher rotates between groups, offering tailored instruction and support. Interest-based grouping divides classes by shared interests, promoting engagement and idea exchange. For example, in a history class, students with similar historical interests form groups to research specific eras. They collaborate on presentations, enhancing enthusiasm and participation. Let's talk about flexibility. Allowing students to work individually, in pairs, or in small groups based on specific learning objectives creates a dynamic learning environment. Imagine a geography class where students have the flexibility to choose their group configurations for a project. This accommodates different learning preferences and allows students to adapt their group dynamics based on the nature of the task. Moving on to ability-based grouping, 
This strategy involves creating groups based on students' abilities, providing tailored instruction and support. In a mathematics class, for example, students are grouped based on their proficiency in specific mathematical skills. One group focuses on mastering basic operations, while another tackles more complex problem solving. Lastly, let's discuss cooperative learning structures, which involve implementing activities where students work together to achieve a common goal. Imagine a science class where students participate in a jigsaw activity. Each group is responsible for researching and becoming experts on a specific aspect of a larger topic. They then share their knowledge with members of other groups. To sum it up, by incorporating these strategies and techniques, teachers can create an inclusive and supportive learning environment for all students in mixed ability classes.